Hey, how's it going everyone? Uh, today we are going to be putting the Series 2 on our test bench. Um, our setup is we're just running it to a pair of 3000 watt inverters and then hitting it with the heat guns. Um, <clears throat> we're going to do a pair of tests today. We're going to do a 370 60 second pull and then we're going to see if we can get 420 amps out of this and stay above 12 volts steady and discuss what that means. So. No reason to delay, let's get started. Okay, so you can see we have our Bluetooth monitor here. Uh, I'm gonna be running the app and screen recording it as well so I can paste it over the video so we have a better view. Um, it's hooked up to a pair of 3000 watt inverters. Right now it's just getting fully charged up. Once this is fully charged up, we will begin the test and we're gonna start off at around 370 amps or so. Um, just an easy test, see you know how well it does. And yeah, so once this is done charging, we will begin. And here you can kind of get a better look at the battery too. That's why I moved this off. Um, it's the same size as the S1. It is about 10 inches across. It is a little over six inches deep and about eight inches tall. Uh, rated capacity is 48 amp hours. I'm clearing the data and I'm going to begin the screen record on my phone as well and get this turned off okay so starting off easy test 370 amps going now Okay, so right there was over 60 seconds. We're not gonna start the charger. We're gonna watch what the battery does. So it pretty much leveled out at the 12 twos and it wasn't going anywhere. I mean, it was just holding that steady, no problem. Uh, so next we're going to bump it up to about 420 amps. So see it's already back up to 13.23. I'm just gonna get this charge back up. Okay, so while this is charging, um, this is a good heads up that this is very much what it's gonna look like in a lot of vehicles. So when it's not fully charged, it's gonna look like it's maybe charging lower than a lead acid, it's not. It's just the life cycle of this is so, um, so steady that it's gonna sit and be like mid 13s, but then when it is full, you'll see once this gets up to back to about 48, um, it's going to spike right up into the 14s. It just doesn't get that spike until it's fully charged. It's a good way to know when your life bow is fully charged.
and now you can see it very quickly spiking up um, in voltage since the battery is pretty much full now. <clears throat> And we will begin doing a much larger test. In case you're wondering um, how we're generating the load, we have a rather uh, large bank of heat guns here. And I'm also using my wife's hair dryer as the fourth object to get the final bit of amperage because I only have three uh, heat guns that pull a good amount of current at 12 volts. Or sorry, at 110 volts. Okay, stop the charging, give it extra current on these heat guns. Okay, terminals are good, not hot. Always like to check just to make sure. And beginning the larger test at about 10.15. All right, there was a, a 30 second burst. We dropped down to about 12.2, but held uh, pretty close to 430 amps on that pull. So let's discuss what that means. So here we have the, the first pull that we did. Uh, you can see that we were over 370 amps sustained. Uh, the voltage had pretty much leveled out. It wasn't even dropping very quickly and no problems there. Uh, it also served to get the battery warmed up a bit, I think. So, I mean, that's always a good thing to have warmer cells. And then we'll check out the, the big pull. And this is pretty impressive. I, I'm pleased with the production run. It is better than the, the prototype. We made some improvements where we make improvements every run of batteries. Um, so you can see close to 430 amps here, uh, sustaining 12 volts over a 30 second pulse. And these are from a 48 amp hour battery. The terminals stayed, um, you know, they didn't get too hot on us, so that's always a good thing. And what does that mean, though? And this is a question I get a lot. So, you know, we talk about what kind of amplifier can you support with this? Well, with 430 watts, I mean, you are, you're well in the clear of a Terra Amps 8K. Um, on stock charging, this is where we get the 12K claim is that you know, if you're using a, a Terra Amps 12K, it says it's going to pull about 600 amps. We we can trust this for about 450. So if your amplifier or if your alternator is giving you even 150 amps of current uh, peak when you need it, then that's not going to be a problem with the glow voltage. Um, technically, this can actually burst much higher, but only for a split second. So we don't even want to get into the weeds on that. But, um, you know, we've made a video of this with, uh, with the 8500 watt amplifier and... We can do it with the car off where it shuts off a lead acid battery immediately with the car on. Um, so how many watts are we really producing here? Um, you know, these amplifiers due to impedance rise and, you know, other various factors as well as, you know, what peak frequencies even during music. And that's what we rate our amplifiers at is at music. They, they don't, they don't pull as much as they will on a test bench. You put them on a test bench and you're going to see like their maximum values with a static one ohm load. And that's just not how it works. Um, again, that's why right here I'm, I have pulled up, this is the actual Terra M's 12K amplifier page. And it shows you right here how much it uses. And then right over here, I also uh, pulled up the 8K to just give you a general idea is if you're playing music and you're looking for a battery to put in your car to keep your, to keep your music on. These are flawless. That's exactly what we're rating that. So if, you know, that's what we say, hey, it supports this many watts. We're talking about an amplifier rated for that many watts. Um, if you have any questions, just let us know. Uh, these will be back in stock towards the, the end of June. We had a, you know, we, we thought we had enough and we ended up selling out in about a week. So 
we have lots more incoming. We have a bunch of the Series 1 incoming. The Series 1 is actually currently going uh, undergoing a complete renovation. We, we expect to see some pretty major improvements coming on the S1, but we'll talk about that in another video. Any questions, just let me know.